All right, round three. Is it round two? Okay, I'm gonna start over. Welcome back, it's round three. All right, title bout, here we go. So last time I sent you or spoke with you, we were talking about weight training. How are those workouts going? You try them yet? If not, man, add them in. You're gonna love them, I promise. You really will see a difference. Today, though, it's time for the fun cardio session, the one everybody loves to hate. All right, here we go. So when it comes to cardio, again, the general idea is to get your heart rate elevated for an extended period of time, burn some calories. Now, when I say cardio, though, most people think of the low intensity, steady state cardio, which is a long way to say getting on the treadmill for 30 minutes to an hour or the elliptical or the bike or walking outside. Now, I don't mean to dog this one because it does have some benefits. Really quick, it, it's easy to do. Um, you're gonna burn a lot of calories. I mean, you think about it, if you do anything for an hour, you're gonna burn a lot of calories, right? So you will burn some calories. And what was my third point there? Easy to do. Burn some calories. Oh, and, and because you are burning so many calories, you know, you'll lose some weight. That's what we want. Well, most people, that's what they want. So these are the pros. Now the cons, though, I gotta, I gotta mention those. And you might never hear this from another trainer, so this is my secret. Dude, it's boring, all right? You're up there for an hour, and who has an hour anyway most of the time on your days off from working out? So it can be boring. Um, and monotonous or whatnot, it's hard to change it up. You're going for an hour. You can't go super intense for a full hour. It's hard to. But so it can be boring. And another one for me, um, the biggest one actually, is there's no carryover. Whereas unlike our metabolic resistance training, where it jacks up your metabolism, as soon as you get off the treadmill or stop the elliptical or stop walking, this calorie burn goes right back to whatever your resting rate is. So if it's if it's higher from weight training, that's good. But if it's not, it's going to go right back. There's not going to, it's not going to stay elevated any longer. Okay. So now, how do we? So these are the cons. So how do we combat the cons, right? And it, it's through what we talked about in that very first one where you introduced the triangle through sprint training, or it's also you might have heard it as interval training. Okay. This one, this is the bad boy. All right, it's the one I love. I was built for this one. I was not built for that one. They both have a place in a program, but I love this one. All right. So let me, let me right here. If you look, the low intensity steady state would be like you start here, you get to a level, and you kind of just maintain. Again, thirty to sixty minutes. The sprint training, and that's where it's more like this. I think you're going up, then you get to recover, sprint, you get to recover, right? Best thing about this, one of the pros, you're looking at 15 to 20 minutes tops. Because of the intensity that you're throwing in there every 30 seconds or a minute, you don't have to go half as long, okay? Another thing, it's your fat blaster. Just like your workouts, you're jacking up that metabolism so much, it's gonna just drip off of you and you're gonna be fitting into those pant sizes two down from wherever you're at in no time. And my other favorite part of it, or there's two more I wanna to touch on. One is, is you can constantly change it up. Thing about the interval is you can, you can go outside and you can run on the trail for 30 seconds and then walk for a minute. You can do that on elliptical, you can do that on a treadmill, you can do it on a bike. You can hit the heavy bag, you can do rounds. Rounds for a minute, wait, wait a minute. You can do jump rope, you can do jumps, you can do squats, you can, I mean, there's so much you can do that there's no reason to ever get bored, okay? So, and the last one is the carryover. If you remember back to weight training, what or yeah, weight training, what was our main goal? It was to get your metabolism jacked up between that 168 hour week, right? For that, that break, that at rest period. These type workouts, you can stay elevated at a, at a higher caloric burn for up to 38 hours. 
after the workout. Do that on a Monday morning. What, what that means is you do that on a Monday morning, and Tuesday evening you're still burning more calories than you would be normally. It goes right back to our initial goal. Best thing you can do with this too is you can get it all in, and, and the best time to do it is right after a strength training session. So do a weight training session for 45 minutes. Save that last 15 for, of the hour for some sprint intervals of 30 second sprint, 60 second walk. It's an hour workout that you just jacked up every result you can want, okay? So that's the, the, the behind the scenes look at what, our, what your cardio program needs to look like. Now, let me backtrack, I'm sorry. You do wanna do these, because there's such intensity, maybe two to three times a week. You can do them after your workout. You can also do them on their own. So maybe like you know a Saturday or Sunday on its own. And then if you're working out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, do it right after your workouts. These, need to add them in, okay? Not only will they help you recover from your workouts, but again, we're trying to burn calories and lose weight. So add those in two or three times a week as well. All right? Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, so again, that is, that's the basic program outline. I've actually included a full template of how you can work this into your normal schedule of workouts. Um, very effective, seen a tremendous results from what I got attached to this video. Use it. Next time we're going to talk about nutrition, so uh, bring your plate and I'll see you then.